would like to ask the Minister for Policy and Reform what progress has been made in respect of the Manx Gas Regulatory Agreement, when he will be in a position to publish a new draft agreement, whether the new agreement will come to Timwell for approval, and if he will make a statement. On the Minister for Policy and Reform, Mr Thomas. Thank you, Mr President. Negotiations with Manx Gas are ongoing using the report produced by the Chief Minister's Gas Regulatory Review Committee as a framework for the discussion. Both sides continue to negotiate in good faith, with Government seeking a fair deal for the people of the Isle of Man. It is hoped that negotiations will be completed by 30th of November and a new agreement published before the end of 2019. If this cannot be achieved, regulatory legislation can be introduced as a matter of national policy priority, requiring primary legislation perhaps. It is not proposed that the agreement will come to Timwald for approval. It will, however, be laid before Timwald. Whilst negotiations with Manx Gas continue, <coughs> the existing agreement remains in place. Members may be aware that the company has already made a public announcement stating that the banded standing charge system will cease from 1st of January 2020. <coughs> Under the current agreement, if any change to standing charges or tariffs are proposed, the company must provide written notice to the Office of Fair Trading not less than eight weeks prior to any change in the tariff or standing charges. Supplementary, Mr Hooper. <coughs> thank you, Mr President. Uh, I'd like to thank the Minister for that commitment and for giving a date of the 30th of November. I hope he's able to stick to that timescale. The uh, question for the Minister is, while the negotiations are progressing, is it his intention to eventually serve the six-month notice period on Manx Gas, or is it his intention to make amendments to the existing regulatory agreement to make these changes happen at a much faster pace? A revised agreement is, in, uh, is in already in discussion, has been for quite some time between uh, government and the company in question, and that was based on the original agreement and uh, substantially updated in line with the recommendations um, agreed in the Chief Minister's Committee, of which the Honourable Questioner was a very valuable member and which I chaired.